if x is square is equal to n, then x is equal to square root of n or negative square root of n. Itong x sakay na to at anong number yan. For example, x is square is equal to 4. Then, gawin natin, square root natin yan pareho. Asa ng square root ng x? X square. May x na lang. Cancel tong is square root. Then, yung square. Equals positive negative. Anong square root ng 4? This 2. Under example, x square minus 25 is equals to 0. Ay, kapag ganyan naman, ilipat mo natin yung 25 sa kabila. So, we have x square is equal to, pag negative, ilipat sa kabila, magiging positive. Yan. Then, saka natin is square root. Ay, ito, cancel tong yung exponent niya, yun yung square root. So, x na lang. Then, square root ng 25 ay 5. Paano naging 5? 5 times 5 ay 25. Then, positive and negative. Solve the equation x squared minus 16. So, una, ilipat mo natin negative 16 sa kabila. x squared minus o equals to negative magiging positive. Saka natin kunin yung square root nila. So, x is equals to, six, square root of 16 is 4. Paano naging 4? 4 times 4 is 16. Ito ay positive or negative. Next, x square minus 11 is equals to 0. So, nalipat mo natin yung negative 11 sa kabila. So, we have x square is equal to, yung negative 11, magiging positive 11 na lang yan. In next step, kunin natin yung square root nila. In square root ng x, square i, x. In square root ng 11. So dito, walang square root yung 11. Kaya so, square root of 11 na lang yan. Positive and negative. Next, 5x square plus 5 is equal to 30. If first step, ilipat natin yung 5 sa kabila. So yan ay 5x square is equals to equals to 30 minus 5. Saan ako yung minus 5? Ito. Positive 5. Pag nilipat mo, magiging negative 5. Then next, isolve natin yung 30 minus 5. 30 minus 5 is 25. Then next natin gagawin ay tanggalin yung 5 na, yung kasama ng x square. Na, ano yung kasama niya? 5. Okay ngayon, paano natin siya tatanggalin? So, ang gagawin natin, divide divide both side by 5. Para matanggal lang yung 5. Then to, makakansin na yan. Matitila na lang dito ay eh. x square 25 divided by 5 is yes, tama, 5. Then, saka natin is square root. Okay, so, ang square root ng x square i, x. How about square root ng 5? So, square root of 5 na lang yan. And, lagay tayo ng positive and negative dyan. Okay, paano natin malalaman kung yung value ng x na nasolve natin ay tama? So, check natin. Substitute lang natin yung nakuha natin. So, we have 5 times, una, gawin mo natin, kunin mo natin yung positive, positive 5 square plus 5 equals 30. And kinopya ko lang to. Tapos yung value ng x, yung ginawa kong square root of 5. Okay, so 5, ang, so square root of 5, square, ganyan, makakancel lang yung, yung exponent tapos yung radical sign. Kaya may 5 times 5 plus 5 equals to 30. And 5 times 5 is 25 plus 5 equals 30. 
And 25 plus 5, that is 30, equals 30. So, equal ba? Yes, equal sila. How about yung negative square root of 5? Wala ka ng space, then 5 times negative square root of 5 square plus 5 equals 30. Maka-cancel yung square root, tapos yung square. Then 5 times 5 plus 5 equals 30. Paano naging 5 yan? So, square root ng negative square root of 5 ay 5. Kasi pag kinawin mo yung square nyan, matanggal yung square root, yung square. Tapos yung neg pag negative, magiging positive yan. Kung napapansin nyo, pareha lang din sila. Kaya malamang, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. And that is equal to 30. 2 times the quantity of x square minus 5 is equal to 30. Okay, so ano kaya yung unang step natin ito? Kung napapansin nyo, may 2 sa labas ng x square minus 5. So, una, para matanggal yan, divide natin both side by 2. So, makakancel ito. Tira na lang ay x square minus 5. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Then, next, ilipat natin yung negative 5 sa kabila. Yung x square. 15 plus 5. Then, x square is equal to 15 plus 5 is 20. Then, kunin natin yung square root nila. And, square root ng x square ay x. How about square root ng 20? So, wala. So, walang square root yung 20. Pero, pag-isip kayo ng number na pwedeng pag-multiply na perfect square, ang sagot ay 20. Paano nga ba yung ma-perfect square natin? 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 4, 16. 5 times 5, 25. And so on. So, ito yung mga example ng mga perfect square natin. Okay. Napapansin nyo may 4 dito. Ano kayong pwede i-times sa 4 para may 20? So, I have 5. So, tulay na lang natin dito. Square root of 4 times 5. Okay. So, meron na tayong perfect square. We have x is equal to square root ng 4i, 2. Kailan natin muna, positive, negative. Square root ng 4i, 2. And square root of 5. So, ito na yung value ng x. So, check natin kung tama tayo. So, 2 times the quantity of 2. 2 square root of 5 square minus 5 equals 30. Ang kasalb muna natin yung nasa loob. That is 2 times. Ang square ng 2 ay 4. Ang square ng square root of 5 ay 5. Matatanggal yung square So that is 4 times 5 minus 5 equals to 30. Applying PEM, that's multiplication muna bago yung subtraction. 2. 4 times 5 is 20. Minus 5 is equals to 30. Okay, so 20 minus 5, that is 15. So 2, 2 times 15 is equals to 2 times 15 is 30. Equal nga ba sila? Yes, equal sila. Okay, then next, kunin naman natin yung negative 2 square root of it. Palitan lang natin yun ng Negative 2 square root of 5. Square root of 5. So, I squared in siya. Minus 5. Is equals to 30. And 2 times. Negative 2 times negative 2. That is 4. So, I 4. Then, square root na kung 5. And I magiging 5 na lang. Minus 5 equals to 30. And 2, 4 times 5, that is 20, minus 5 
equals 30. Okay, 2 times 20 minus 5, that is, that is 15. Then 15 times 5, that is 30. So, tama tayo na nakuha ang value ng x. So, ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe. At pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.